Gumbo TV. One of our jobs at Gumbo TV is to inform our viewers on things that we think you should know. Our show features a wide variety of topics that our team has strong opinions about. Informing our viewers about the benefits of recycling is one of them. This segment of our show reminded me that there's more to recycling than just putting it in a plastic blue bin. Do you remember what recycling is all about? Here's a crash course. I'm here at the recycling plant to figure out what happens when you throw your recyclables into one of those big blue containers. Let's go in and check it out. This is about a day and a half worth of recyclables right there on a normal route collection. This is our tip floor. This is where the material comes in. It's brought in in two stages. One is fiber, which is the paper right over here. And then our commingle pile, which is the milk jug, aluminum can, tin can, things of that matter. The first two people are pulling residue out of the mix. And what's going up the conveyor is mainly recyclables. How do humans benefit from recycling? we're keeping those materials from the landfill. So we're putting them back into the system, making products that we can re-buy rather than creating ugly landfills and taking up um, precious green space. Then the next thing is, is all the material gets chopped onto that shaker screen. You see that thing shaking? That separates the broken glass from the whole stream. What happens here is, you can see them pulling off the different colors, clear glass falls off the end. Here what happens is, the first person pulls off trash, the second two are pulling off aluminum cans, the next two are pulling off plastic and aluminum, and the milk jugs fall off the end. The more we can take what's already been harvested, and reuse it, the more profitable that is um, as a society because you're essentially using reused materials rather than getting the original stuff from the earth. These people are pulling out whatever's left of, of OCC. If a little office paper's left, they throw it in the buckets and then they'll dump it in later. Up the line, the first two people are pulling out garbage or any recyclables that belong over in Comingle. If this was landfill, they would be paying $27 a ton to have to take it into the landfill. This is a revetment of, of OCC or cardboard. As the conveyor line goes down, very much like you've seen in the Comingo house, they pull out the cardboard and throw it in here. Then what they'll do is, any office material, they throw it in there. You'll see a person up there pulling out the telephone books. Once all the cans, paper, and different plastics are sorted, the conveyor belt takes the materials to the baler. Here, the material is compacted into transportable bales, which are easily shipped around the world. This is only two days worth of recyclables. Just imagine if all this was already put in our landfills. Our landfills are already overcrowded. There are items all around us that we normally throw out, not even thinking about. But these items can be recycled. If it's paper, it can be recycled. All glass food and drink containers can be recycled, no matter the color. Aluminum cans, food cans, and steel, all that's good to go. Recycle plastics with a number one or two on the container. Keep diapers, mirrors, and plastic bags out of the plastic containers. They can't do anything with that. To make less garbage, reuse containers and buy products that use less packaging. You could even reuse plastic bags instead of simply just throwing them away. I don't know about you, but I know what I'm doing. Recycle. Learning how to conserve our resources is one of the best ways to help make the world a better place. Continue to make recycling a part of your lifestyle. And if you haven't started, begin today.